everybody, I'm SK and welcome to this, our 17th episode of the Haunting Grounds vlog. Um, lots of uh, business today, lots of news. Um, most importantly, there are only 35 days left until Halloween. 35. It's not much time. That's just a hair over a month. Time to get working. I've been working. If you can't tell, gotten a little bit done. Got most of our uh, indoor display all set up. Um, I did, usually I try and answer questions that uh, people have written in and uh, haven't gotten a whole lot of questions this week, but there was one that I wanted to touch base on. And that was, FF looks at 40, wrote in, and uh, where is it? All right. FF looks at 40, wrote in, and said, SK, kick ass as usual. Thank you. Uh, I gmailed you a question regarding some Knox Arcana music. Thought you might have answered during the Watcher's Question segment. Nope. Salem sounds awesome. Out East just reeks Halloween in the fall. Yes, it does just reek Halloween in the fall. Um, probably a lot of that has to do with the foliage. Can't beat it up here. It's beautiful. Um, but FF looks at 40. I could not find that question. Not in email, not in, uh, not in uh, comments, or uh, in my YouTube inbox, or anywhere. So if I missed it somewhere, I apologize. Um, unfortunately, you didn't tell me what your question was. So write in again. Let me know what your question was, and I will be sure to answer it in the next vlog. Other than that, lots of comments on the last vlog. Um, thank you, everybody, for commenting. I did not respond to any of the comments just because I wanted to try and keep everything in order so that I could uh, get the names lined up for the, for the giveaway. Um, my wife, Lori, has uh, agreed to take over the, uh, the Facebook page, the, the management of our Facebook page, which takes like a huge burden off my shoulders because I really just, with everything else going on, didn't have time to keep up with it and it kind of went stagnant. You know, I post things here and there, but so uh, if you haven't already checked out our Facebook page, if you have a Facebook page yourself, go to our Facebook page just search in the top the haunting grounds. I'll give you the address, but it's like, you know, pages, backslash, the haunting grounds, backslash, number sign, exclamation point. You get the, it's a pain in the ass. Just search the haunting grounds and you'll probably find it. Um, and give my wife lots of love for uh, everything she's been putting into it. She started doing it yesterday and, you know, already she's, she, she loves it and she's, like increased our, our engagement tenfold. So, speaking of my wife, yesterday we took a ride out to the Glenville Farm, what used to be called the Glenville Berry Farm. And uh, I gotta say, you know, that's where I got all our pumpkins last year and that's where I'm planning on getting our pumpkins this year. If you live in this area, if you live in Schenectady, uh, Glenville, Scotia, Burnt Hills, any of those areas around here up in, uh, in upstate New York, definitely worth taking a ride over there to check out their pumpkins because they had some really awesome looking pumpkins. Um, they all looked really good. The prices are really good. Uh, corn stalks, you know, three bucks a bundle for corn stalks and uh, five bucks a bundle for Indian corn corn stalks, which are like almost twice as tall as regular corn stalks. So we'll be picking up some of those too for our, uh, for our display this year. Um, if you don't know where the the old Glenville Farm is. Uh, it's on the corner of Swaggertown Road and Bolt Road in the town of Glenville. Check it out. Uh, let's see, a couple, couple of uh, interesting things. I um, got a letter from my bank stating that I had all these rewards points built up and uh, that they were scrapping the, the rewards program. And I could cash in the points for, you know, like 50 bucks, or I could go to the rewards page and uh, 
pick out some rewards. And, you know, I went to that page before and it was just, you know, you've been to rewards pages. It's all crap, right? So I didn't bother. I was like, whatever, you know, maybe I'll cash in the points for 50 bucks. And then I said, well, you know what? What the hell? We'll go check it out. And I'm glad I did. Because I was able to pick up this nice, well, all right, maybe it's not nice, but it's good enough. Crappy little sound system, little Kobe sound system for our haunt. So now I have some way to pump music into the uh, witch house portion of the haunt and keep it completely separate from the music that I play outdoors. And I was able to pick up a Garmin. I got myself a, a nice little GPS unit and you might ask, well what the hell does that have to do with Halloween? But it does, see, because I am terrible with driving directions. I'm a typical guy, I don't like asking directions when I get lost, right? And we're going out to Salem next month and this is going to get me there. So. If you ever have rewards points and you think, you know what, I don't want to use them, check it out. Might be, uh, might be a good score. Uh, I talked about last week Cody's new costume where we were going to be using this. And we're going to mount it on a PVC frame so it's like way up above his head and it's like 12 foot tall and, uh, and he can walk around and the, the plan still goes. But, I think I'm going to scrap this skull, because while this would be easy enough to mount, um, I stumbled upon something better. I was walking through Party City and found a giant skull. Now I don't have to worry about how to make the, uh, the cowl drape properly over the back of a big flat skull. This thing is perfect. Uh, 30 bucks. They even have regular skulls um, that look more like you know your typical your typical Walmart foam skull, a little bit more detailed, but they're just a, a tad bit bigger than this, and they're like forty bucks. And the cool thing about this too is the eyes light up. I don't know if you can see that too well, but yeah, they light up and they flash. Little tiny LED strobes. So. I thought that was a cool score. I was hoping to have that done. Didn't get it done. Might work on it tonight. We'll have to see. Um, it's kind of been a really weird week for me this past week, and I didn't get a whole lot done. Um, but I did get something done. And that is, I've been talking about doing a flying crank ghost for the past couple of years and I have never gotten around to it and I just couldn't bring myself to buy a $50 motor for that and I didn't have to. I completed my flying crank ghost and I spent five bucks on it cost me five bucks because I already had the motor. I used a vent motor. I used some scraps that I had laying around and I did it myself and it works. Hopefully it keeps working and I don't burn the motor out because it, you know, it is just a vent motor. But we'll see. I hope next year I'm actually going to do the whole thing the right way with the right motor. But um, why don't you take a look at that. I'll show you how I set it up. All right. There is the flying crank ghost. From the back side, anyways. If we come around over here to the front side, we can see. Maybe you can see the face. Nothing special. Cheesecloth soaked in uh, 
laundry detergent hung from uh, a vent motor. Since we have wood ceilings out here on our enclosed porch, I was able to screw the um, screw that vent motor right to the ceiling. There's a piece of aluminum bar. It's about, uh, I think it's 10 inches long with the uh, same old little washer with the holes in it. I used um, fishing line to hang this. I'm going to be replacing that with braided fishing line simply because the braided line won't stretch and it won't break. So, since the vent motor is not very strong, we did have to offset the weight. And we did that by running, well, let's see, if you can see this, the line runs across the ceiling all the way over to the corner, right there, and goes through another eye hook and runs all the way down the side of the wall to a large bolt or a large nut with a couple of bolts on it to help offset the weight and the rest of this was made pretty much to uh, specification as far as uh, the ghost the arms are just uh, coat hanger pieces made with loops over the ends and they're tied at the ends again with uh, snap swivels and the line goes up to the ceiling and instead of having this big frame I have a couple of hooks from the ceiling and a couple of S hooks on those hooks and that's what goes to the uh, motor. So there you have it. That is all that this thing is comprised of and we'll turn it on over here. Cody go ahead and plug that in. It's the big fat plug there. And watch yourself. And If I can get back far enough, you can see that it does function just like a flying crank ghost should. And you can see that uh, bolt over there going up and down, offsetting the weight. So, the hunting grounds, dirt cheap, flying crank ghost. Alright, I hope you like that look at our flying crank ghost and, uh, and how it works. Like I said, you know, it's not the way you're supposed to do it, but it works and, you know, $5.00 flying crank goes for SK this year. Can't beat that. Um, before we move on to our giveaway, I wanted to uh, read through our new subscribers this week. We have a handful of new subscribers, new subscribers and uh, let's get through those real quick. We have six new subscribers that don't have usernames. So, once again, people, come on, get a username. Conform. We all bundle. Sorry. <laughs> all right, real quick, our uh, 30 some odd new subscribers Shelby Eaton, Grimstone442. For who, those of you who don't know, that is Knox Arcana. Uh, Jasper Maddie. Dark Shadows Cemetery, 
Cupcakes 99, Amtrak 115, Kevin Buchanan, 72 Bets, Southern Style 39, Heart City Films, MHS Jeepster, Too Big OFC 05, 4 Skater Jake 4, Big Car 45, and that's car with a K. M. Johns, 66. Neon Knight, 67. Shadow Pal. Peggy Miller, 100. Kenny Van Pelt. Electric Zack. Max, I can't even begin to pronounce this. It's Max C Y L P N. So, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Mojo Macaulay. Boo U 6470, Mr. Offshore, Camille L. Coyne, John the Caretaker, MCM Expo, A Knox 26, or AK Knox 26, depending on how you're pronouncing or spelling Knox, uh, Derelik, SCJKE 1635, D minor sound and LP Ferris. Thanks everybody for subscribing. We do uh, appreciate uh, our subscribers. Hopefully you appreciate what we're doing for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's move on to uh, one of the more important orders of business today. And that is the giveaway. Not that. your bowl away. All right. I did want to. I did want to say. You know, we we started this 250 subscriber giveaway uh, last week or two weeks ago, and you've had two weeks to uh, leave a comment, like the video, and be subscribed. We had 32, 32 people. So. I put out my uh, order for the Knox Arcana CDs, and they came in the mail today. But not only did they come in the mail, I had written to um, Christine Philippak from Monolith Graphics, and uh, just threw out there that. Um, you know, we were doing the giveaway and wanted to make sure that it was all right that we're giving away their CDs. And uh, they were good with it. And they were nice enough to uh, donate to our giveaways. So, today's giveaway, we're giving away the winner's choice of the Grim Tales CD by Knox Arcana or the House of Nightmares CD by Buzzworks. The other CD we're going to give away on Halloween night. Halloween day, Halloween night. I'm going to videotape it on Halloween day and will probably be aired sometime on Halloween night. Amongst all the other busy crap that I've got to do. But, they sent, uh, Knox Arcana sent us some, uh, some new promotional postcards from their, uh, from their newest album, The Dark Tower. And... Uh, I have some of the older promotional postcards from the Theater of Illusion and a little flyer thing for their uh, for Buzzworks Zombie Influx, Influx CD. So I'm going to include those with, uh, with the CDs. And we have a few more CDs to give away. Um, four in total. So, Halloween Day. There's going to be two winners. The first prize winner is going to get the other CD that we don't give away today and a copy of the Dark Lore Manor CD. Um, the other winner will get the, a copy of the Dark Lore Manor CD. And the other two CDs I think we're going to save for our 500 subscriber giveaway um, or some other giveaway that I come up with soon. And 
I'm probably going to do more of this because, hey, you know, why not? I want you guys, anybody who hasn't listened to Knox Arcana, why not? Why not? They do uh, dark ambient type of music that is ideal for a lot of home haunts, um, haunted houses, even professional haunts. You guys can, um, I think it's, uh, I, I'm not sure what it is. I'm sure, I know there's a, a small cost involved for uh, the rights to play their music at your haunt, but it's like perfect music. Why wouldn't you? So check out, check out their website, knoxarcana.com. Um, just check out their website. And if you, if you like their music, order their CD. What are you pointing at? Cereal. Oh my God, look at that. I almost forgot. Halloween cereal's out. Yeah, baby! Who doesn't love Blueberry and Frankenberry and Count Chocula? I don't care for any of them, but I like the boxes. I liked them when I was a kid. All right. Um, it's time to draw the winner of our 250 subscriber contest. All 32 names are in here. Once each. And the winner is... Chem Spider. Chem Spider, you are the winner of your choice of Nox Arcana, Grim Tales, or Buzzworks, House of Nightmares. You take your pick. Send me a message, which CD you want, and the address that I need to send it to, and we'll get this right out to you. Congratulations to Chem Spider. There it is, right there. You see? Chem Spider. Who happened to be the first commenter on the video, by the way? Everyone else. Halloween. Well, not everyone else. Everyone. Halloween Day. I am going to announce, I'm going to officially announce the, uh, the giveaway on Sunday, this coming Sunday, the 29th, the 30th of September, and you will have one month on October 31st, Halloween day, sometime in the morning, I will do a drawing for everybody who meets the criteria of, uh, of the giveaway, and we'll give away the CDs plus some other stuff. I'm still planning on picking up some stuff when we're out in Salem to add to those giveaways. And the last order up, I do have a couple of new videos that are going to be posted very soon. So new content coming up real soon if you're looking for some new how-tos. I'm not going to tell you what they are, probably because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to post first so just keep an eye on uh, new content that is all for today from the hunting grounds IMSK as always thank you for watching thanks for joining us thanks for spending your last 15 20 minutes however long this video ran with us and uh, we look forward to seeing you again next time until next happy hunting